finals time at MSM. Key versus Nico run back from this weekend. Oh, snap. He, uh, he eliminated Nico last, this past snap. weekend. He had an uh, outstanding run at SoCal Chronicles this weekend. I, honestly, I got to commentate. Actually, I didn't get to commentate one of his matches, but I witnessed him in action, and he's, I'd say he's one of the finer snakes I've seen, for sure. Key's interesting to me because uh, he didn't play Brawl at all. Yeah. He uh, won his first Fire and Dice in this game. And then right after win winning his first Fire and Dice, he got top eight, fifth place at the hardest ultimate tournament in the state so far. And now he's in winner's finals. Yeah, to elaborate on why that's so interesting that he didn't play Brawl is because he, he's playing Snake, a character that typically the people who are playing this character have the knowledge from having played the character in Brawl. So this is totally new territory for him, and yet He's out here showing up that he's got the setups and he's got the mind games. So let's see yeah, if he can really uh, do it once more against Nico here the second time. Will Nico yeah. be able to take it over he, Key? He might have actually beaten Nico at FAD too because Nico frequents that tournament. Uh, I actually was looking at one of the FAD grand finals and it was just like a snake deal between j West and Key. <laughs> so uh, Nico, he's pretty experienced with this character, but it might even have a lot to do with just Rust too. Oh geez, he's getting bobbed, explosion into aerials. But uh, yeah, like Nico's played this character quite a bit, like against Snake. And uh, even in Ultimate now, I want to say A1A has the most experience against this character right now. Because like there's two really strong ones that frequent their tournament. But uh, let's see what Nico can do here. Yeah, in the meantime, Nico's actually taking quite a bit of damage, sitting at 142 percent He just laying on with these explosions, he gets his grab. Oh. Doesn't get the tech chase, but he puts a C down, a C4 down instead by the ledge. That's going to be really good later on. If he gets a down throw now, he'll definitely kill from up tilt. He'll have enough frame advantage to actually just guarantee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guarantee that, is, that is a true setup right there, the down throw into the up tilt. The great thing about that is that you can just hold the up tilt during the animation of down throw, and you get it frame one. Maybe. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. So funny enough, uh, you would think using a sword character, it would be good for Nico to like use his disjoints to avoid trading grenades all the time versus key, but you're not really seeing it that much. All right, he has opportunity here. He has to take it, but no, key, I, key loves using that air dodge to ledge as snake. Yeah, he gets away with it almost every time. He uses it very, very effectively, in fact. Hardly ever gets... Uh, Gets a, his stock deleted for it, but he got, got it deleted there with a simple edge guard from Nico. Still trailing in percent 90 right about now. He just kind of hanging below these platforms, dropping his grenades. Yeah. I like the way he uh, plants the grenades on the ground. He, he uh, sets them on the ground so that if he gets to grab, he can cover the tech chase option. Yeah, that's what makes uh, grenades so good for a snake. He's like. Without the grenades, his normals and like his grabs are just like okay at best. But once he has like a explosion to cover them, it's way way scary to deal with. Oh, here comes the Nikita. Oh, yeah, I think Nikita. this is the first one have you seen so far. Oh, <laughs> forced him in shield. He was actually trying to block the Nikita there, and then he just ran up and grabbed him. Like that's another good thing that uh, Snake's projectiles open up. It opens up a lot more opportunities just to sneak in grabs. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you kind of mentioned there, we just throw him into the explosion or just use the threat of the grab to get like a, a down throw tech chase. It's really versatile way to uh, get damage with this character. And it's it's crazy how creative you can be with this character, because as you said, he's the Nikita to kind of distract Nico and uh, force him to put his shield up. Typically you see it as like an edge guarding option. Yeah. It's really, really quick, but uh, has multiple uses. Yeah, that's down what to like one stock. One of the fun things about using a character like Snake is that he has a lot of different ways he can play. He's just a very fun and a rewarding character to play when you like get used to playing him, that is. Did you see how sneaky he was with that C4 placement on the platform? I mean, he just jumped on there and barely dropped it on there. Yeah, he's used to the explosion very good. Like, I don't know, I just got to say I, I'm really impressed with how well he's taken to this character. It's, he's a natural, right? Like, yeah. I don't want to say that. And that's something I don't say about a lot of people who play uh, this game, but it's definitely apparent here with Key. But got to talk about Nico a little bit here. That actually is a true setup there out of the buster. Yeah, but Snake is a heavy, heavy boy. He's going to lift to high percents, oh, but not to that not F until 
Nico managing to clutch out game one. Yeah, that was a great adjustment from Nico. I kind of looked like he was going to just run away with that one. He was up by 100% on one of those stocks. But uh, again, Nico is still pretty experienced versus fighting this character. I just feel like a lot of it is due to like being a little bit rusty in the matchup. Yeah. And just slowly adjusting to how you're supposed to combo Snake and avoid trading. Because when you have a sword, it's much easier to juggle Snake without having to worry about grenades blowing up in your face half the time. And I think Nico has gotten that spacing down to where he can just put him in bad spots and then keep him in a you know really bad spot and keep juggling him. So, uh, you know, first game going to Nico in this best of five winners finals. Already off to a strong start. 67% unanswered. Make that 88. Oof. 106. And Nico's off the stage. Yeah, that was super quick from Key. He didn't waste any time whatsoever. But of course, uh, it's not really like super something that you could. Wow, well, never mind. I was yeah, going to say it's not yeah, something yeah. that you could super <laughs> I, just sit on. I, but I was going to say, well, he's really just sitting at up tilt. Percent. Yeah. <laughs> You might want to reconsider that. Yeah, I was kind of thinking Nico would hang back and just wait till he got, you know, stake off stages before he went in like that, but went right into that up tilt. That key still looking pretty good, but Nico racking up the damage with the Buster. Yeah, Buster Art going to net him extra percent. Oh, wow. And Smash Art, the up B air slash, is going to take the stock finally. Yeah, I, so I expect the air slash to be used a lot more from Nico, especially when he's forced to commit to that up B off stage. It just yeah. knocks him right out of there and pretty easy to hit when you know snake recovering. He he can't really mix up his uh, uh aerial drift while he's in the site for that much. Yeah, so in, in that regard it should be pretty easy to intercept. Uh, it's also that Air Slash is a pretty good outer shield option to kind of like uh, get off me just like right there. You see interrupting through the forward tilt. And nice. again, yeah, outer shield, really, really strong option from uh, Salt player. Oh man, he's trying to see if he can mix him up with the speed R right here, try to get in. But uh, yeah, he has to do a much better job of respecting the hitbox that he's throwing out because trading against oh. Snake is never a good idea. Pulled out shield art just in the nick of time. He landed right on top of that C4. Luckily for Nico, he's going to be able oh. to hold on to the stock, and I spoke too soon. Yeah, the shield art was already gone at that point, and then he's in the perfect range for that down throw up to. Okay. Nice air slash out of shield. Let's see if he can capitalize off stage low. Switch to this match art, trying to get a punish. Still not going to die from full screen. Snake is. Way too heavy. Yeah, not even in the smash man. That just goes to show a second one. Uh, not even on the other side of the screen, <laughs> man. He's going coast to coast yeah, and still living. It's looking like he's going to have to get that same punish by the edges of the stage, closer to the blast zone. Yeah, he's taking every little hit that Nico's trying to dish on him. Just taking it to the bank and just soaking up all the damage. Still staying alive here. Looking really healthy on the second stock, honestly. Struggling to find his way in. I feel like if he would have gone through right there, the up tilt, because Nico was in uh, smash, but the up tilt might have actually just killed him. But man, who needs it? Just yeah, up tilt him it. at 122, he's still gone. So but yeah, I, I agree with you there. I, I thought he was just, just gonna cash out on the fact that Nico takes bonus knockback when he's in smash. All right. But uh, didn't matter. He still got the hit he needed. He wanted, he wanted to play around with him a little bit more. He thought that was too easy. I, I'm not gonna let you go out like that. Caught him slipping. He's like, I, Nico, I play you a lot. I, they really I don't do. think that's something that you usually do, so I'm going to give you a second piece at light. It's really interesting to see because, uh, yeah, they do play a lot. They're just a different matchup now. But I, I feel like that gives uh, Key a slight edge because Nico's playing like a new character from Key while yeah. Key's just playing, you know, Nico Shulk again in different game. Yeah. Shulk's definitely better in this game. Don't get me wrong. He's just uh, there's not so many things that are different from how Nico's game plan usually works. Like, same thing I'm seeing him do in this game is very similar to what he did in the previous game with Shulk. Yeah, I mean, and the kit for Shulk is uh, essentially the same, with the exception of uh, minor differences here and there, of course. Some moves have been buffed, uh, attributes have been changed, but the game plan, as he says, remains the same. He already racking up the percent, he gets an Akita out. Ooh. Air slashing right through it, and Nico manages to save his own stock. 
or score a different way again. Oh, there it is. Waited out the air dodge too, just to make sure you got that forward air to connect. Perfect edge yard on that cipher. Basically, what I would uh, wanted to see from Nico to just force key in these terrible like, juggle and all stage situations and capitalize heavily, since he does have a sword to do that. I love how fast the Nika is in this game. I mean, he can activate it from the other side of the stage and still almost get an edge guard. I mean, how many characters can edge guard you from the opposite side? There's only a few. I, I always uh, think of Ness's up B when I see the Nikita. And uh, up further extent, like Lucas's up B and uh, neutral B in this game. Uh, forward tilt from Nico, a very simple conversion, but he didn't let up some damage either way. Okay, trying to get the Nair train across the stage. Still a pretty potent kill option. Unfortunately, since we're using the Hazardless Smash build, it's not going to be as easy for him to just carry him to the blast zone with that. I right, gotta remember the C4 is planted on the stage. I hope Nico's oh aware. man, so close. <laughs> Oh, oh, it just blew up. I don't know if uh, Key actually uh, detonated it there or if it blew up after a certain time frame. I it's like 30 seconds or so. Right? Yeah, it, it's kind of funny too because uh, some Snake players aren't even aware of it themselves. Like they just keep messing around on the stage and then walk right into their own C4. Yeah, okay, I don't know if we're going to see it now, but it's also funny when like sometimes they're, they're not even aware that the C4 gets uh, put on them, it gets sticky on them. And, they want to go to detonate yeah. it, detonate themselves. Yeah, interesting enough, I haven't really seen Key go for like the sticky yeah. setup. Uh, normally, it's a really strong option if your opponent's just hanging on the shilling on the ledge or just hanging out in there too long. Just jump up and give him the sticky with the uh, down B. Makes it really, really versatile move. Oh my god, the shield damage. I mean, Nico was stuck there. There was really nothing he could have done if he jumped, if he didn't hold shield. Oh. Wow, but he held that back air. Nice call out anti air back air to deal with him jumping from the ledge to the neutral air. Going up 2 1. Nico looking like he's uh, studied the match up quite a bit since we lost the key this past weekend. Yeah, I know Nico it tends to be a somewhat emotional player as well, so it, it may be the mental toll of having lost to uh, key already once, maybe twice. Uh, and just being here on the stage, being down two games against Key, he may be thinking, oh man, am, am, am I washed? What's going on? But no, I, I think I think it's just a matter of, like you said, having a little bit of rust in the matchup. See if uh, Nico will be able to adapt in this game for yeah, and a lot of people just say that like Nico is much more veteran as a player in comparison to Key, so for him to struggle so much, like maybe he won't say it or show it, but I, I definitely gotta feel like Nico thinks it like a certain way, like okay, I shouldn't be like you know losing this hard. But it is up to one. And this is the Nico we like to see, man. He is at a uh, set deficit, but in terms of percent, he's got it all. 127 percent on E. Looking for this up. Oh, beautiful up, yeah. or sorry, air, up air slash out of shield. I, I was about to up say B, up tilt because smash art up tilt is pretty strong too, but that yeah. up B uh, seems to be a much stronger option uh, this time around. Yeah, it's uh, it's just funny because like in the previous game, um, a lot of people just felt that Shulkat should have been a top tier character, like a high tier character. And honestly, I agree too if you think about his games. Yeah. But uh, it's just cool to see that uh, all the hard work Nico put into Smash 4 Shulk is paying off with, you know, this really buff Shulk. But uh, not the best backslash attempt. I mean, he actually went right in front of him. So he like completely whipped. Yeah. So backslash, for those of you that don't know, does do uh, extra knockback if you hit your opponent from the back. But uh, that was the complete opposite effect right now. And Nico trying to find a way to approach here yeah, while avoiding the grenades. This is basically a one-on-one -on -one when you're trying to fight against a good snake player. Absolutely. I mean, how to approach a snake player when he's setting up this wall of explosions is the name of the game. Nico doing a pretty good job of it right now, especially once you can get snake in the juggle position, which uh, Shulk 
does really well at. Yeah. He can juggle his opponents really, really well. As long as he can get him up into the sky, he should be fine. Forward wow, throw, by the that way, was so good. On that stock. Yeah, perfect shield into the forward throw off the stage. Definitely knew everything that he was going to try to get off the ledge with. Just really good awareness again from Nico. Just really starting to show the experience he has. Switch to speed art right now. Try to be extra nimble around this snake player. I, I like it. You can see that he actually adjusts to that and uh, doesn't try to pull out as many grenades, knowing yeah. that these are some of his laggier options and he'll get punished for it in speed art. Whoa, uh, using the grenade explosion against him. Well, he's going to go for the down throw. No, it's not the percent where he's guaranteed to get the up tilt. So I, I kind of thought he would go for a tech chase, but that's neither here nor there. The empty hop into the grab and just keep the off stage. Keeping up the pressure. He's got him above, uh, above him now. Yeah, and this is looking really good right now for Nico. He's not he's getting hit by too many things. Reverse air slash out of shield looking so clean. Okay. Wow, all that. Well, all that patience just to get caught by this, uh, the sleeping bag. And I mean, it looks like uh, Nico has a substantial lead at 113%. I think that 127. But Snake is very, very heavy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's not It's not anything for Snake to just bring this back. And you already see Key going for the forward air spike. Almost got it if Nico didn't sweet spot the ledge appropriately. Oh man, the Cypher took all the hits that are so fortunate for Key. Otherwise, he would have been sent in the Blast Zone for free. I like the down air out of shield punish. The uh, whip aerial from Nico. Oh my oh goodness, my shield art actually <laughs> allowing him to chain two dash attacks dash back to back. Attacks. And uh, oh wow, the jump over his back and hit him.